you can do bum, it. Bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Ow. I desperately need you to stop lighting me the fuck up. Fun fact. The vast majority of murders are committed by men. You go, girl. Yay. I mean, they're all still moving. Uh, they were mostly all still moving. <laughs> All right, let's let's get our, our obligatory open world game racing out of the way. Support. Come on, baby. Worse than back in hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Hmm. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want any. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. Ah, oh, man, I gotta drive your car? A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. Ooh. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? I'm good enough. Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. All right. Uh, what are the stakes? Is there a carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? <laughs> Think it's got what it takes? This isn't just about speed. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Your car, mine. You'll be on the pedals. You decide. Ooh, well, <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll, when do we we'll start? see. I'll, I'll, we'll a use qualifying yours first. Ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three and at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Like the good old days. We'll we'll let her use her car at least once. Long time. And then I'm bringing in my beast. Era, Peter Sampson, person of the month. I'm just an ordinary city boy. Read the untold insider sco scoop. Recipe for success, money, cars, and fine suits. A thousand ways to enjoy sex. A Peter Simpson tell-all. Wait a day for Claire to contact you? Son of a bitch! After I... <laughs> okay, that's ironic. I finally go see Claire, and she just immediately puts me on a waiting list. Fine. I'll make my way down to this side, John. We'll try out this guy, too. And then eventually we'll probably just make our way to the... the Rayfield car that I bought. So I can change up the, the colors. Ooh, I like the inside of this! Hey! This fucking car costs more than your car times five, probably!
we're just gonna... Laura, you wanna drive fast? <laughs> now you can pay for the repairs on your own ride. All right. Hey, people. I agree with that. They're shooting at me. done. Makes all this noise. Kamala Smith and Steve Zane. We've been set up. Tigers knew exactly where and when to attack. Where'd you get your wheels done? At Frank's. Check him out. Contact conversations where he gets his tech, everything. Got it. Uh oh, Frank. What were you doing? Frank Kaufman and Masako Yoshida. Too risky, sorry. I can't. You can. You can put our GPS trackers on their cars. That's it. Do you even know the risk I'd be taking doing that? And you'll earn more than you make in a year. Oh, and you'll earn more than you make in a year. If they find out. Hmm. I want the scratch and I want to join the Tiger Claw shop. Sure, just get those trucker or trackers on before their next run. I mean, he made it work. Judy! Yeah! We can do another hangout soon, Judy. Hey, fellas! Shit! Contact! Oh. Ah. Look, no hard feelings. Come on out. I just wanted to talk and see what was going on first. Jeez! What was that? Ah, uh, Thomas Red and Shiva Red. Come on, seriously, it's just dreams. I don't know, I'm afraid they'll do something to you. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Nobody would suspect, suspect a thing. Just stop grabbing data from them, please. It's too risky, and I need you. Shiva, stop it. You know we need the money. For you, you can find what I got so far here. Please. I gotta go. Meeting. Okay, huh? just we'll be careful. You, asshole. This loyal employee, Red Stash. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the worst. That sound effect is too fucking loud, and I wish they patched that shit. It's been two months. Needs to be its volume needs to be decreased by like seventy percent. I get it. I get it. Crazy laughter. <laughs> Do my ears need to bleed too? You know. <laughs>
Alright. this I just put on a random brain dance I find in alley that's that seems real yeah. risky interesting I should probably I should, this, this is something you tell people you're about to do it leaves your real life body vulnerable whoa I've seen this brain dance before. Man, thought you'd be off the clock by five. Did they keep you on call? Shit luck. Cap said I could leave my gun and badge if I went home to listen to my old lady go on and on about her online shopping or whatever the hell she did all day. That's what you get for choosing the life of a I don't know if I'm allowed to watch right this now. on stream or YouTube. Back it up. Looking to get shot? It's technically a part of the Netflix series, you know? get leg blades do those come with manus blade upgrades <laughs> Max Stack really did put this guy down real fast. <laughs> Ballsy. A cautionary tale. One David Martinez ignored. Will you? Did someone just throw all these pizza boxes at me or something? What in the fuck? Over the edge. Text Muammar El Capitan Reyes and ask about David Martinez. Yeah, sure. Hey, Moo. Found a strange XPD on the street. Max Tack taking down some cyber psycho under the big hollow goldfish. Then at the end of the scroll, name David Martinez popped up. Mean anything to you? I am he's, he's taking a while. You fire every <laughs> you fire up every sketch XPD you find on the street. Hey, I ain't judging. Curiosity's a hell of a thing, but still, mighty brave. Yeah, it wasn't a smart move. But yes, C Psycho attack sounds familiar, but never dug into it too deep. Pretty big mess is all I know. As for Martinez, Choom, the fuck kind of question is that? Of course that name means something to me. Santo kid, like me, sprung up out of nowhere and never looked back. Was sipping drinks at the afterlife in no time. Every punk pup with a dream wanted to run in his crew. 
That is, until about a year ago when David kicked the hornet's nest. Why? Want to join his fan club? Get his autograph on a new implant? Hmm. Arasaka Counter Intel was the president of that fan club. That I know. Kept a closer eye on him than anyone. This file never touched my desk, but given their interest, it's peaked mine now too. Know where to find him? Yeah, I know where to find him. Tough to say, but I'll do some digging. Let you know. Ain't so, Capitan. I know. I know generally where David is. But shit, only one year? Since the incident with David and Edge Runners? If he had lasted one more year, him and V could have been friends. Now, thankfully, I don't spur the ire of Max Tech too often. I got my fill while we were experimenting with our weapons. There, The real problem with dealing with Max Tech is that they're infinite. <laughs> you know, you don't just beat them and then you're like, all right, I guess I'll leave now. It's just, oh no, here's a whole other fucking wave of Max Tech. Engage in, and then... Weapon glitch, reboot optics, contagion. Provocation. Taste my leg. Is the Let's have some fun. Premature discharge. I'm sorry. This. Jesus Christ, Skippy. It's okay. We'll, uh... We'll get you some oil, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Seamus Horgan and Seth Macy. Hey, you up? You up? Fuck, Troom, I got a problem. Fuck. Listen, we fucked up bad. Some gonk started harassing us on the street, and we got a little carried away when we harassed be him back. Thing is, then we started checking his ride. I mean, fuck turns out the gonk worked for us. One of our number crunchers. Shit. Boss can't find out. Fuck, Chum, what do I do? Why in the ever-living fuck are you telling me this? Holy fucking hell, you brain-dead gawks! And now I gotta cover, cover for you? Nah, come on, Chum, don't be like that. No fucking way I'm covering for you. Boss asks, I'm telling him the truth. Not putting my fucking ass on the line, fucking morons. Dude, alright, chill. Fuck. Give him a concrete bath at our site. Ditch the phone, too. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Here's their concrete bash, sheesh. Hey, boss. What? That shop in Rancho's is late with the cred. Send some of the boys. That's not really my line of biz. They gotta start squeezing that gonk harder. Not the first time he's late. Yeah, sure. Just take care of it. You got it, boss. Ooh, about, do I report this to them? I ain't want you to steal something here. I can make that work. Ah, she's just... What is your fucking problem? Oh. Take control. Oh shit. It's gotta do a loading for this. No, no. This car is coming back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And. Floor it. I was hoping to drive the car over with the person still inside it. 
Look them in their eyes for what they did there. Installing update. This may take several minutes. Huh? No, I didn't even mean to pull you out. some internal corpo skullduggery. Our boy wants dirt on his arch nemesis, one Matthias Stowe. What do you say? You got your shovel ready? Briefs attached. Yeah, let's see what you got for me. Jeez, this is a long one. All right, steal documents incriminating Matthias Stowe. Your mom ever tell you saying two wrongs don't make a right? Yeah, well, we're the third one. Kandachi's about to select a new director of some shit department or other. That part doesn't matter. What's important is it's two candidates for one gig. You know where this is going, right? Bingo. One of them is my client. He wants dirt on his new arch nemesis, Matthias Stove. Main problem is that Stove's the human equivalent of unseasoned boiled scop. He's bland. He's boring. No bodies in his backyard. No dates with minors. Nothing. Oh my god. But there's no way a guy in his position in a place like Night City is 100% dirt free. I mean, there's no fucking way. A couple contacts of mine say Stove has a few strings tied to the Valentinos. He needs to sleep into his office and slip a few files off his computer. If we're lucky, we got something to back up the rumor. Casting Mr. Squeaky Clean Stove his shot at the promotion. Alright. I'll try and be sneaky about it too, so that they don't know that their information was stolen. Alright. Let's... See where everybody's at here. It's a lot of robots. There's no way there's only this many people. A lot of fucking cameras. Hmm. Friendly mode. Friendly mode V2. See, what I want is when I hack a camera and put it on friendly mode, I want it to, like, mark enemies for me. That would be Shoel. Um, I touched the. I touched the barbed wire. Owie. Feel like this guy's about to walk. Yep. Do you pay them at all? You know? Matthias Ambro. Dan will be ready. First and last time I do this. True. Don't know how I can thank you. When this is over, you can get the hell out of my life. And screw your trap shut. If the court finds out I'm doing side biz with Tinos, I'm done. Love you too, man. I mean it. It's for your own good. This is no joke. Well, I mean, there's probably information on here. Made a new schedule for night shifts. I'm expecting everyone to stick to it. Mm, yeah, that's one of the chainmail things. Fuck okay, it. Stealing data. Received. Job's done. Get out of there. Thank you. And 
I'm out. Mwah. Beautiful work, V. Stove's finished, even if you don't know it yet. Big thanks. Contract's closed and the eddies are flying at you. Thanks, El Capitan. Another easy job handled. <laughs> Any other geeks around these places? Sab Sabotage the target here, huh? Okay. I've been doing some of the other, like, more story-heavy side stuff, but I'm gonna save that for the next time I play. So, like, going to talk to, like, rivers and stuff. You know, this pacifist mode still gets a lot of people killed. Yeah, I saw what he wrote. Guy's completely gonk, but whatever, fuck him. No, we can't just let that shit lie. Can't we just ignore it? Not like anyone takes that wacko seriously anyhow. Yeah, but it'll just keep going. Better to shut him up now, nip it in the bud. You don't, don't want the guy to keep stoking the flames. Ah, fair enough. Where do I find him? Here. Coordinates expired. Tony's staying with a friend of his. We tried to give him a place, but he wouldn't take it. Yeah, well, not like he's gonna take anything from people who hoard themselves out to the corpse. Ha, ah, true. Go teach that old bastard what it means to speak softly and carry a big stick. I think this is him. Sent to 3,871 users. Sixth Street, true patriots, proud nationalists. Some of you might not remember me. Ten years ago, I landed in the can fighting our proud nation's enemies. But now I'm back, and I'm sad to say I don't recognize the 6th Street I see before me. My 6th Street would never work with the corpse. And now this? Money from Militech! Weapons from Militech! Jobs from Militech! I ask you, my fellow citizens, is this true patriotism? Patriotism isn't about strutting around, chest puffed out, a uniform on your back, and a gun at your hip. No! Patriotism is a way of life! A difficult, uphill battle full of obstacles at every turn! It means sacrifice! It means fighting the systems that want to put us down. We can't have 6th Street on a corporate leash. How can you fight for freedom and submit to slavery in the same breath? Our goal is a free United States, not a playground for corporate scum. You can't whore yourselves out to the corpse. The current leadership of our organization is sick, and the disease is greed. They've got no respect for you or themselves. So now is the time to rise up, fight for what you believe in. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Give me liberty or give me death, USA, USA, USA. Well, damn, Tony. I don't think they were having it. I don't think the NCPD in general is uh, ever going to be uncorrupt. It wasn't I just here. I mean, I was in this location not too long ago, like an hour or two ago. But I could have sworn I did these missions. Man down! Take their position. Mm, I'm gonna need to do a contagion and another. I have a weapon glitch too. Uh -oh. Fun fact, the human body holds between five and seven. That's not a fun fact at all. Brace your time. Can't hit me too easily now, huh? 
I got the dash arounds. Oh my god, what the hell were y'all doing here? Message from the creators. We are young, we are strong, we are full of righteous anger. We are the creators. We will create a new order, do everything in our power to resist the chaos left to us by the previous generations. Had enough of polluted air, acid rain, and men in suits telling you what to do? Then join us, the creators of a new tomorrow. Don't let them destroy our dreams. Don't let them destroy our world. Take matters into your own hands. Don't brain dance your life away. Fight, come together, join our protests in Arroyo. Oh, what the fuck? What happened here? They just take a bunch of protesters and kill them in this back alley? Come on, y'all, that's not cool. Who even would this job be for? Probably just El Capitan. I'll do another gig. Any other of the new cars I haven't summoned yet? Hmm. Favorite this, favorite this, Riptide Carrier, and this. I'm going for speed. She's all alone in her time of need. Ugh. I'm not paying for that. Woo, too fast to turn a corner. Holy shit. I don't have fine control of this. wanted to just keep going but the path ended over here and I'll behave I won't jump over the wall in case this is another serious gig V, check it there's a site on the net out to smear the mayor well then halt well the acting mayor cuz you know he's up for re-election or whatever yeah, politics am I right Mudslinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info. I do. What do you got for me? Agent Saboteur. Bring down propaganda machine slandering Weldon Holt. Politics. Only thing slimier than the thongs at licks. At least corpos usually tell you to your face how they're gonna screw you in the end. Fake smiles. Impossible promises. Shameless pandering, all foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay themselves for it with eddies out of your wallet. It's in their nature. And what's in ours? Blowing shit up. Got just such a gig for you this time. Sixth Street's got a stiffy for Jefferson Perales so they have these servers pumping out anti-halt propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayor as like the second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit. Here to unite the city with the NUSA. Naive gonks. TLDR, uh, TLDR. My client wants Sixth Street's propaganda machine gone. Simple. You almost make it sound like you want me to go hostile in there. <laughs> 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 
No! Keep them revealed to me! Nighty night. You just felt so sleepy on this roof. Find the garage with the server. Well, Chum, from the looks of your little butte, you're even more fucking naive. Still got than a lot of work to do. Made hell. Your mom's in better shape. <laughs> I feel like the server Drive, is that one. But the bearings will be new. Sandblasted. Still waiting on a new compressor. <laughs> She'll be ready to tear up the streets. And turn off. Here we go. Let's get that intel. Oh, these aren't the servers, huh? Okay. Let's do a little ping, just in case there's enemies lurking around that I don't have marked. Like this one right here, sheesh. Could have been bad. to the wall. All in another room. Rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Oh, sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. I don't... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get you another nuke. Johnny. That Kang shard figured out. What's on it? Schematics. Iron? Smart iron. Prototypes. Already checked. Not on the market. In time to buzz Militech, see how many eddies we're sitting on. Intriguing. Ooh, look at all the money they've got here. Sounds like they've got a schematic. schematic could be or maybe they had an iconic weapon and I looted it already thanks bud you can have a nap too Well, I think if there was, it would have been a iconic weapon. It would have been among all the like higher level lieutenants and stuff. Yeah, you did it, V. Just got word that virus is blazing toward the servers like a fucking asteroid. 
Prim work. Thanks. Closing the gig. Thank you, El Capitan. I know I do a fantastic job. You want something done stealthily, kind of? I can kind of do it. Now, if you want me to do it without knocking out anybody, that's where it gets harder. But I've got the tools for it now. In comparison to where we started, I can get a lot done. I'll clear out this mission and then also make my way over to this Sinner Man mission. We got a couple of things that require me to wait a day, so if I have to wait for a mission anyway, that would be the one. Unless I get... I think it maybe get down there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, everybody. Reboot optics. Reboot optics. Boot optics, U2, and also contagion. Contagion. Let's do this way. Put ah. in here. Ah. Opening fire. Fun fact: the human body holds between five and seven liters of blood. Fire! I've heard your fun fact so many times now, bud. I like your helmet. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. What's up, Choom? Get your shit and go to the junkyard. You gotta wipe whatever was left of my car. Choom, they'll wreck it there. Whole point of a junkyard. Look, just go. Got a tip from an NCPD, Choom. They're sending some god to go check the car out. Anyway, if it's still there, you know what to do. Fucking badges got in for me. Honestly, I don't know who I just killed. I don't think they were NCPD. And I don't think it would be an NCPD crime in progress if I was taking out the NCPD. Officer 98403 reporting. Head to the junkyard and grab the onboard computer from Billy Jackson's vehicle. But hurry, before they destroy everything. Our rocker boy went for a drunk joyride on the sidewalk, hit a crowd of people. Now we need something to put him behind bars. Real fucking artist, tone deaf hack, couldn't even fucking sing. Nothing I hate worse than those fuckers. They hum a little tune and think they can do whatever the fuck they want. Well, here's a chance to show Jackson he ain't above the law. Go to the junkyard. Watch that. On my way. I think the NCPD officers got like fully taken out here. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Well, I left my car up top. I'm summoning Mary, my ride. See if I can see what it looks like when I change the color from inside. Although I think it just plays it in third person anyways. What happens if I go green and then black? Although I could just go back to what we were doing before. Oh. Okay, so the inside does change a little bit more. Ah, ah. It's not just uh, the lights, it's also kind of the metal trimmings.
This car's engine is so much nicer than the Riptides, at least volume and sound wise. Jeez. V, got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. Huh? That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Where the hell is that? Search and recover. Retrieve a container containing beta acid. Location uh, do drop in. This ain't too complicated. You know the drill. Something slipped through somebody's fingers and it's your job to get it back. Got this Troom, Doug. Denver Doug, the Ripper. Recently did this patch job on a 6th street dickhole and when he took off, Denver noticed a gallon of beta acid gone missing. Don't know what the fuck he uses it for, but that 6th streeter knows all kinds of shit can get cooked from it on the street. 1 plus 1, a dealer clipped it. So Denver hired a guy, Booker Updike, to find the missing acid. Then poof, he's a ghost. Last seen at the Dewdrop Inn in Arroyo. Head over there, get your hands on that beta, and if you got a minute, find out what happened to this Booker guy. Alright. Let's get this enabled then. Ah, it's just right down the street. Oh shit. I guess I do have time for these. Fine, Booker update. Excuse me, ma'am, have you... Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kind of spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Oh. Uh -huh. Chill place you got here. Quiet, calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh shit. You ain't with the cops, are ya? <laughs> More the opposite. Phew. Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Well, I'm glad you, you made a mistake with a non-cop. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, jacking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on. I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. Yep, thanks for the the room. The easy access to the rest of your place. Deep underground following a high magnitude I could also get check out 106 too. Hey, you work here? <laughs> nah. Just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? Alright, alright. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician, everything. Looking for a friend. Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kinda keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No questions. Do you know what room he is uh, in? Go to room 103 and find out what happened to the booker? Oh, okay. Open up his room for me. Yo, I just said privacy's kind of our thing here. You'll come out if he wants to come out, okay? Privacy is a service, huh? How much you charge for that? Something like this? Maybe more? Little, little bit more. Done. Now open the room and be quick. Sure, come with me, but keep it down, eh? <laughs> oh, I didn't even need his help. <laughs> I could have just opened it on my own. 
I was never here. Got it? Thanks, Techie. I think your buddy's dead Ugh, here. Not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Ha ha. This is not worse. My place is really, really good. I'm honestly, it's it's always really funny to me that, I mean, obviously V's, by the time we get access to our first apartment, it's, uh, we're doing a little bit better for ourselves. But it, uh, V's apartment's nice. Ugh, gonna puke. Smell that, right? The ventilation. It's probably the acid. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? Like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, an experienced drug user you are, huh? I assume he's dead. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Take a look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. Alright, well at least we found out what happened to this guy. I'll click get that closed, and I will check out my own. Not awful, not awful. And the bed's a little cramped, but you know, if you're by yourself, it works out. Let's see if there's anybody else up here. Uh oh, there's a few people up here. That's very intriguing. Well, well, well. <sighs> Found ourselves a little drug lab, huh? There's the beta acid. Woo! 11,000 bucks! Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Keeps my paint job, but it has to apply it every time you get in, which is a little, a little awkward. But I understand. No, no, no pump punch it. I got my fill of it. It turns off when you get out. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just like, oh, if you walk far enough away, it despawns the color. Uh, this isn't what I meant to do, but screw it, I guess. Dude, how bad's the DPS on this? Oh! It's because it's a tier one, holy shit. All right, just don't move up any, and we're good. It always throws me for a loop.
Uh, we've been really getting screwed over, I think, on Nekomadas. I haven't seen one in a long ass time, actually. What the fuck? I've just been getting like, ev I've been getting everything else. But snipers? Nah. Rare. Mystery items. Well, at least I can make up a little bit for uh, my my spending spree from earlier. Mm. Yeah, all good enough. This Nekomata sniper rifle, I could sell. <laughs> Can't make any actual modifications to it that I care about. F. So, V, the beta assets secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for 10 bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. Clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. You're welcome, El Capitan. Officers. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I'm getting my car off the sidewalk, officers. It was an emergency, and I figured I'd get out of people's way. Smell that, V? The sweet, sweet smell of cold, hard eddies. You do good work, you get more work. Beautiful system we got going, ain't it? It's a good enough system, El Capitan. I do work for as many fixtures as I can, slowly and surely. Let's get that wait time. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. 